Before we start creating elements in our model, first we must learn how to configure a needed template for the electrical work that already comes with some presets that will facilitate our work in the future. For example, it has already loaded some families, distribution and voltage systems, which can be useful to avoid having to make all these settings from scratch. How can we benefit from this kind of templates? Every time we create a new model in Revit, this window is displayed. Here we are able to choose which is the base template file. By default, construction template is selected. There are others, such as architectural, structural, and mechanical installations. Sadly, there is not an electricity template generated in our project. What we must do is find an electricity template. These templates are already downloaded if we had internet connection while we were installing the program. Go to Browse to explore where these templates are. Just to give you an idea, note that there is Window, Program Data, Autodesk Revit 2020, and the Templates folders. Inside this folder, you will be able to see generic templates, templates with imperial units and templates with metric units. We are interested in the metric unit template. You may have other options depending on what you choose to download during installation. I will use the US metric templates which are quite common. We found the option electrical default metric. We choose this option and click open. Notice that now this option is loaded. Even though I created this file, we'll notice we'll have to make one setting step more so that it is always available. What do we see when we start this file from the electricity template? Let's first explore the way the project browser is configured. Observe that there are electrical schemes. Our project browser is divided by disciplines. So we have an electrical discipline and within it, there are two main subdivisions, lighting and power. For lighting, we have floor plans, ceiling plans, and for power, we also have elevations, things that we need. Besides that, within families, there are some specific preloaded for electricity. I will show you for a moment that if we go to Systems, Electrical, by clicking in Electrical Configurations option or by pressing the ES keys, we can see that there are some preloaded things in Electrical Configuration. You can see that there are circuit description angles and voltage definitions and distribution systems. Such types of configurations are not available in an architecture or construction template. They are available here thanks to this electrical template that has some things that could be used in electrical design. I will cancel, close this file that is blank and observe that if I try to create a new file, the electrical template doesn't appear, the one that I just loaded, because when I use the browser, it allowed me to load it just for that moment. How do I configure it so that the template always appears in the list? So that if we need to create an electrical project, we don't have to look back to the folder where the template is. Let's learn how to do it. We cancel this. We must use the home button, press it to see the ribbon. On the File tab, we configure the Revit options. Under the File Locations, we find exactly where the templates are preloaded. Using this, we could also know where is the generic template file, and we can copy it and add a new value. That will take us to the last folder. Note that if you use that copy location, you can go up to the generic folder, up to the one and you up one and you find that US metric, and there is the electrical default metric. We press open and watch that it now it is loaded.
We could change its name, such as electrical template, to continue with the same nomenclature above and press OK. If we return to home and now if we press new file, note that we have the option electrical template, which appears at the end. This is the way we have configured our template. We can reload it whenever we want. We press OK and we have a completely blank file, but as we said with some configurations that benefit us in the electrical design. In the following video, we will see how to link an external Revit file to use it as our architectural base and start designing our systems.